Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. So today's video is going to be everything wrong with my car. The list is sort of lengthy, but it's mostly cosmetic. Anyways though, before I start that, I actually do, I know I forget to do this oftentimes, but I do appreciate you guys watching my videos and without you guys this wouldn't be possible for me to do this. So I do appreciate it and, well, yeah, and I do want to do some stuff to give back to you, like I am thinking of doing a giveaway soon actually. Uh, I think once I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure what the giveaway will be, but stay tuned. I'll figure out what the giveaway will be at 10,000 subscribers. And it will be definitely Canada, US. I'm hoping I can do worldwide though for the giveaway, to be honest. So let's just stay tuned for that. We'll see what comes of it and yeah. Anyways, let's uh, head on to the, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's head on to the main topic, head on to the main topic of this video. So, like I said, a lot of this is cosmetic, which this front end is different than you last seen it. I have a different grill and I added a bug deflector. Now this bug deflector is here to hide some of the some of the fault this car has. There's a bunch of stone chips right in the front of this head, front of this hood. So I put them there for that reason. Uh, well I put the bug deflector there to hide them for that reason because it's a lot cheaper than a hood respray. And you guys, I'm not complaining about any of the flaws on this car that are really minor because the thing has 366,000 kilometers almost on it or about 220,000 miles. So it's no low mileage car. It's quite high actually. But yeah, let's just cut on to it more. So I know you can't see it right now, but eh, you can see it a little bit. There's a little bit of rust on the fe this driver fender and the bottom of this driver fender has a little bit of rust on it too. But what you really can't see is that this rocker needs full replacement. It's slowly been going, but it's got a hole right around this area here. There's a hole in the rocker. So that is planned to get fixed this spring, um, along with a bunch of other stuff. Right now I'm going through just cosmetic stuff, but uh, yeah, uh, I can't remember if it was this side that got, oh, there's more rust right here. That's going to be dealt with in the spring as well. And there's more rust right there, but that is all like, it's not structural, well the rocker is sort of, but it's not bad yet. And there was some more rust on the hatch, but I do have a new hatch. As you, some of you may know, I bought a parts car, which is also a 2004 Jetta wagon. It's a gasser, but I only need it for body panels and a little more rust right there. There is a little paint peel on this rocker right at the front, but it's solid. This rocker just needs to be painted again. Um, yeah, it's overall quite a solid car still. It just has a little bit of cosmetic rust for the most part. Other than the driver rocker, the underside of the car is mint. There's not a spot of rust underneath the car pretty much. So I'm not too worried about it. It's all minor stuff. Minor stuff. <laughs> now. Coming with high mileage, another problem I have with this car is paint. Well, <laughs> it's got three different silvers on it. That fender's been replaced already. I'm guessing either it got hit or it rotted out. But anyway, that's aside from the point. It's a rust-free fender, I don't care. But the bumper looks, well, when it's clean, it looks sandblasted almost with the mileage. You can sort of see it. Right in this area, the black specks, those are just paint chips. Um, another little issue, which is just cosmetic again, is these headlights love to fog up. I've cleaned them three times and they just keep fogging up. <laughs> Once again, original lenses, 14 years old, I'm not going to complain. And the other thing I have a complaint about is this windshield. When you're driving towards the sun, it looks like it has been sandblasted. I know it's not the original windshield though, but it has been on the car for a while. 
So, given so, it will have some wear on it. It will have some chips. Um, just minor stuff. These wheels, well, they're not my favorite, but they do for winter wheels, so I can't, I'm not going to complain about them. They, they do the job just fine. Um, now to go on to more serious issues with the outside of the car. Under the, the hood, I really don't have any issues. It's got a newer VNT17 turbo, a newer Bully Stage 3 clutch. It's got a Stage 2 tune on the computer. It's got an up, upsized battery. It's got an H8 battery that puts out 900 cold cranking amps, which I did have to cut the battery tray and break the battery cover to make it fit. But minor details, I, I don't really care how it looks under the hood, it, it functions just fine. Uh, and it's not a show car. Anyways, so the major stuff that I have to do, oh yeah, and the other thing is this HID, I have to tighten the connection up, because sometimes it's really weird to start up. It doesn't like to turn on once in a while. Um, anyway, well, keep getting distracted. For stuff that needs to get fixed, I am going to need brakes very soon. That is going to be a problem in two or three months. So I do have new rear, and I'm going to need new rear calipers, but courtesy of a parts car, I have two new rear calipers and new rear discs. I just need pads for the rear. And on the front, I will need brakes as well. I will have to get rotors and pads for the front. The calipers. As far as I know, we're still good in the front. I don't need them, I don't think. Um, it's too cold to try this, and I don't have a second person to help me with it, but these front struts are going. They're really bad now. Um, <laughs> it's excessively bouncy in the front now. And given so, they are original struts at 220,000 miles or 366,000 kilometers, which I cannot complain about. Most cars don't even last that long. But to go along with those, <coughs> the front springs are shot. So are the rears. <laughs> but what my plan is with that, I do have a plan. I'm ordering rear towing springs, which will give the back end a bit of lift, and I'm ordering a strut top spacer for the front, which will give the front about 10 millimeters of lift. Which I would like to have because these cars just sit naturally way too low. For my liking at least. Um, this is my own fault, this flaw here, which I'll show you. Um, this little cut in the tint, that's my own fault. I was putting a hood in the back of my car and it, I accidentally hit the tint on the window. Um, ignore the mess please, but this hole in the leather is just wear. It's, it's old, it's not new. So, I can't really complain about that. Um, with the front area, there's a little crack in the leather right there. But it's not much. It's not in bad shape. This soft touch material is destroyed. Now that being said, that is painted. The stuff around the radio is partially painted. I have wrap to actually finish that. But the reason this one's not painted anymore is because I actually had an issue with this door card. I went to shut the door and this whole piece, it was painted. I had a different piece in there. It ripped right off into my hand. So I just have to pull that off in the spring and spray this one again and then it'll all be high glass black again. But that's a very minor thing. It's all, it's cosmetic. Um, we'll open up the sunroof. Well, cover, turn on the lights in here. And we'll take a look at the interior. So there is no lights on on the dash usually, but sometimes lately I have been having an ABS light. It comes and goes as it wants to. I actually did the rear driver wheel bearing because the tone ring rotted out and I'm guessing the rear passenger one is doing the same thing now because, well, let's face it, it's high mileage. <laughs> um, it's not a major thing. At this point, I'm not too worried about it. Um, the interior overall is in great shape, so I don't really have too many complaints about that. The headliner is starting to show some flaw here, and 
because of me, it has gotten a little dirty back there. But that's, again, it's my own fault. I've used this car for work, and it's not a beauty queen. It's not a pavement princess. It gets treated like a work car sometimes. So, it's, it's not something I'm trying to keep mint. It's something I use as a daily driver that it's going to get used as a work vehicle sometimes. I've hauled firewood in it. I've hauled lumber. I've hauled scrap metal. Right now, in the back, not that button. There we go. I have a sawzall. I have a starter that I had to bring back for core. Some paint, the toolbox, a taillight for a 2009-ish Montana. That's the old grill for my car. And yeah, I just, it's a work vehicle to me, almost. There's little dirtiness on the carpet back here, but whatever. It's, and that battery is not mine. But yeah, it's a minor thing. Very minor stuff, but nonetheless, there's problems. Um, one of the, the best problem with this car, to be honest, I think, because when it works once in a while, it's incredibly annoying. This is another problem that is actually annoying. You have to pull that handle kind of hard to get the driver door to open. The rod, I've been told, is just pushed in a little too far. Um, I'll deal with it one day. It's still working fine. Um, but there is a light here that is supposed to go on when you open the door. Now there's a door lock module right about here-ish in the door that has gone bad in this door. So just wait a sec, wait a few seconds. There you go. It, it locks the doors because the door lock module, this door doesn't sense that it gets opened and I can even put the keys in the ignition and it will still lock. So that's a, it's not a big deal. I just, uh, I just learned to keep my keys on me at all times because this door lock module has failed. Um, yeah, it's, once again, that's a minor thing. Oh yeah, automatically locks itself. It's overall not in bad shape though. A little messy right now. Sorry guys, I know it's dark in there too, so you can't really see much. But yeah. It's in pretty decent shape for its age, and I can't really complain. The shift knob has some a certain degree of wear on it. What, what do you expect? The soft touch around the radio, which you can't really see, is in sort of rough shape, but that's why I have wrap. This was for a light bar I had in the grill, but the switch melted. Um, the light bar is now hooked up as fog lights though, so this thing will be going to new light bars that are going in the upper grill behind this new aftermarket grill that I bought. So, yeah. And I guess another little thing would be that little pull up on the dash there, which that doesn't bother me any. It's whatever. But it's not in bad shape. It's something that I could see me keeping for a lot longer. Unfortunately though, there is going to be some cosmetic needs fixed. Like here you see this chip. And right here you see this one. Because what happens is, I'll show you, this door has sagged. And it just just, just it skins across it. You can see it's dropped about an eighth of an inch. So, maybe in the springtime, I'll fix this door gap. But the door was actually loose for some reason. I don't know why, but it was loose. And yeah, that's why it happened. I'll get someone to help me pull it back up and tighten it back in maybe in the spring though. Um, one of my little fixes I had to do was this. This is a silicone. This is silicone around the base because the original gasket was gone when I bought the car. I didn't feel like dropping the headliner to put a new base in, so I just did that. Anyways, guys, 
As that's all that's wrong with my car, really. It's a lot of little stuff, but it's, and it's a couple bigger things, but it's nothing really major. It's everything to be expected out of a 220,000 mile car. Yes, I need new suspension. It's original, which is incredible. I, I am surprised I've gotten this much time out of it, but mechanically it's working great. It's just got the headlight that I'd like to solve, the suspension, the brakes, which are going to all get solved at once. I already have a bunch of the parts, so yeah, it'll take about a weekend to do the work, but you know what guys, it'll save me a lot of money and well, it's original. Like, I'm not going to go on complaining like Volkswagen's crap because of it, because it's not them. It's just an old car. But yeah, and I'm not going to go over the pa problems I've had in the past with the car. You can go back and watch the update videos of the, the problems I've had in the past. There's been a bit, but it's been decent overall. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.